Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me as I try to show off the best of modern retro gaming. Today we are continuing our adventure in Koromon. We are now at Donor Island and we need to meet Nicola. And so he's probably there. So we need to go in and see if we can find him in the Buzzlet Research Facility. That is the hospital as you can see. And I believe he is in here. Cormon is a fun new upcoming monster training game. And this is the demo, which is available on Steam. And there's one other thing I usually... <laughs> oh, it'll be coming up soon. It'll uh, be uh, releasing in the next few months. So that is... Oh, yeah, we need to get our lab coat on. Oh, I forgot about that. So yeah, it's a fun game. You should check it out. Uh, the demo is available on Steam and we will, uh, we actually have to put that on somehow too, I think. If I remember correctly, let's get our lab coat on. Let's look all professional and stuff. In the last episode, we were able to pick up some new interesting, we knew the Swarmy, but he is, we found a Swarmy, uh, potent Swarmy which is pretty cool, and a new Koromon, Frova, which is uh, pretty exciting. I'm always looking for new Koromon and uh, trying to see the, how they play and work and stuff like that. So what do we got? Yes, the docks and the Thunder Cave. Yes, we are not safe. Okay, what's going on? Breathe in, count to four. That's always good. I gotta say, I very much like the game overall. The story is good, but also I love the emojis that they put. It's fun. It's a little lighthearted play thing. It's it's quite fun, um, and it, it, it's interesting. It helps other than just words convey the emotion that is trying to be presented at that time. So Nicholas saying that Thomas is lost and that we need to try to get him back. And Thunderous Cave is very dark and very dangerous. So we gotta be careful there. And he gives us a worker helm. That is new. That is not what I had last time. I'm very curious exactly what that is. What does a worker helm do? do? Okay, hmm. That's pretty cool because that was not in the last playthrough that we went through. So that's going to be quite a different... It'll add a change of dynamics to the cave. Before I had to take like a flashlight sort of thing that actually ran out of batteries after so many steps. So I really like that. That's kind of cool. Something a little bit different and makes it actually will be a little bit easier, I believe, now that we have that can i get up can i can i hit one of these rocks out of my way because that would be really cool yeah there we go need to get all these little oh we found a couple things sweet all these little uh little uh chests that we can to power us up as we go in uh can we i am going to go in anyways uh oh we gotta fight the grunt let's go is sending out a slither pin. That's uh, not good. That's not what I wanted to start out with. But what level is he? We made it rain. I think that's who made it rain. Uh, he is a level 14. Ouch. This is going to be a tough, tough fight. And I'm not sure who should I pull out. Should I pull out the big guns already? or try to get a hit in on a little guy first. I do have to fight her twice though. That's the problem is that she has two actual um, Cormon here that we defeat and 14 is pretty tough right now. So I am a little worried about how well he's gonna be against me. And this may not turn out well at all hopefully oh that didn't that was not a good one um yeah let's hit him again the fire obviously doesn't do much damage to him i am a lower level than he is 
but as long as I could stay a decent amount of health, uh, something like him using Toughen and stuff like that is going to help. Knock him off a few hit points with Taruga, and then we'll switch it up. Um, I will probably switch it out here because I don't want my Taruga to get um, knocked out, and then I would lose him. So we locked, uh, locked nine hit points off of him. That's not going to help very much. Um, I'm actually very worried about this fight right now. I did not expect to him to be so good and especially with that um drain it's going to be really hard to fight against him here and hopefully uh, we're just not going to be able to do it here i don't think he's going to be too much of a fight against us um to really be able to shoot this is gonna be a long battle and i'm not gonna be able to yikes this is gonna be very interesting i hope my armado and my buzzy will be able to do a little bit better i did not expect them to be up to level 14. um definitely is going to be a, a tough tough battle here um i wonder what she has next because that's going to make a big difference see he's already back up to 30 hit points and slitherpin is amazing if you he's just cannot if you can't out pick out um hurt his drain then there's no way you're going to get through him and that actually was very helpful there that uh, where he had to refill his ugh, down to three so close uh he had to refill his health there or his uh skill points that was very helpful okay let's do a double slash and then we'll see what she brings out i will probably also um hmm, i don't know Frava probably goes up. Oh, Frava waking to some of his potential. Um, let's do like special attack HP and yeah, sure. Let's try that out. Right. Yeah, everybody earned a lot of experience points there. Who's next? A hound dose. I remember oh it's an electric type that's not good um and he's also 14 that that's gonna do it he's gonna do yep that's gonna ooh, don't knock him out please speed decrease that's not what I expected actually I expected him to do oh yes awesome that worked out very good in my favor let's go ahead and do this one and we should be able to knock him out there i get really worried i i think it's going to end but then we're able to pull it out which is awesome um so a cut attack is very good against electric types i didn't know that that's pretty good armado is now 11 15 and dude that shot him way way up so that is great we're gonna actually run back yeah I'm warning the others you're going to interfere with our plans. You'll never stop us. Is there a little, I feel that there's a little, no, maybe not. Maybe if I hit that, it looks like there is a treasure chest right there. I'm actually going to go back really quick and heal up before we go down in the tunnel because I'm a little worried actually now that those guys are level uh, 14. I don't remember the tunnel being that difficult um or that high of a level we're actually also going to drop over to um the store real quick and see if we can get some health potions because that will be very helpful as well i have quite a bit of money right now like six thousand i believe uh i sold out my 
um, Phoenix Shards because that revives KO'd Pokemon and that's not going to help me. So let's see what we have here. They have a bunch of, uh, they have some HP cakes. Let's see how many they have. Can I go and get 10? I'm going to go and buy 10 HP cakes. Small. Those were small. Okay. And I'm going to hold on with one medium and I'm going to go with that for now. Oh, yes. I would like to use my 25% difficult. That was actually, I forgot all about that. Yes, that is okay. I received uh, 75 gold back. That's awesome. I was, I totally forgot about that. So that's really cool that uh, we did that. So let's go back over into the cave and hopefully we'll be able to uh, level these guys up a little bit while we're fighting in the cave. Someone else leveled, yeah, my Armado leveled up. So let's switch him around with the Buzzy. There we go. I'm a little worried about those guys, but I really would like to see that Frava level up and see what he is capable of doing. We might hang out for a little bit at the entrance of the cave and see what we can do. Ooh, this looks like something special, but um, it doesn't really, yeah, it doesn't really do anything. Um, I like the little glowy things, though. That's pretty cool. Little glowy uh, crystals or what have you. I really don't want to get into a fight right now, but, or a, uh, um, what's the word? A, um, a, uh, trainer battle. Okay. A nine, not great. Oh, he does have drain. Is that a, I forgot he does have drain, which is nice. Is that a magic drain or a health drain? There are two different types of drain. I believe that it seems like to be, um, what is this? This hypno way, what way puts him to sleep, which is also would be very good if I could put him to sleep and then drain his life. That would be a very effective combo. Awesome. Uh, let's drain all of his life now because that would be really cool. Oh, he does heal when he's asleep or he doesn't take any action in your turn. Oh, it missed. That's a cut type. Yeah, okay. Um, he will re uh, fill some of his um, spell points. So I'm un unfortunate he missed that time. Let's see if he hits, there we go. Getting this level nine, if he can take out this level level nine, um, I guess by himself, that's going to be very, very good. I don't think he will, though. It's going to, what, decrease my accuracy, doesn't it? Yeah, that's not good. It might, yeah, it's going to miss. Let's see what this cut does and see if that helps. He, all he's using is Swarm Diversion, which I guess is effective, but if he doesn't do a a ag aggressive attack he's never going to hit me so cute pose that lowers my accuracy defense and i missed man i'm going to hit him at some point there he got oh that was a harsh scratch that was very effective but i'm going to switch out and i believe swarming can come in here and uh, be able to help me out here. Come on, Swarmy. You got poisonous bees here too, so let's get those bees and uh, Swarm Division Diversion. No! Come on, Swarmy. You can still hit him. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, he did. Sweet. I don't think it was very effective, but yeah. Let's just use the slam and it should, ah, you. Yeah, but, oh, he got poisoned. That's very, very helpful. Well, let him play around over there and get poisoned. But that slam should, there we go. That was a lot longer battle than I expected, but those experience points should help out quite a bit. 
Let's see what we got in a little... Oh, yeah. Oh, all kinds of good stuff. What is that bear fruit? I keep on forgetting what the uh, different fruit do does. XP increase from a battle. So I can actually give that to, like, Frava. And when he is in his next battle, he'll get uh, an XP a boost, which would be this one right here. <laughs> I don't plan to heal him any. I'm gonna be able to run back, I think. Uh, stay in this little bit of entrance right here. Fixates and yes, awesome. Um, he's a seven. I, oh, I really wish I could hit him, but I'm worried that that one hit is going to uh, do too much. He's the same level, but he's not gonna be able to push enough against the armado to be able to overcome that health deficit really so let's get him do a little bit of that and then we'll be able to get through there pretty easy i think the caves the cave is going to be tough especially with some low areas like this um level eight awesome yeah that's what i was expecting that's kind of what i was hoping uh to do so we're gonna kind of stay at the beginning part of this cave i think they also redesigned the cave a little bit as well but i'm not 100 percent sure about that so a buzzlet yeah you know what i don't think that's going to be enough. I can try the Hypno Ray. I'm not going to risk it. I really don't want to lose anybody. So we're going to swim him, uh, switch him out. I could, with the Hypno Ray, Hypno, Hypno Ray, and the Drain could be a really good combination. But considering his uh, already low health, and, you know, if it was a little bit lower or something like that, maybe the buzzer was a little bit lower level. Uh, there are a couple things that maybe I could have done something a little bit differently, but uh, I, I really am very want to be very cautious about uh, losing any of my Cormon right now because I'm really happy with what I have. All right, let's. You know, we could go around. I'm just afraid to go too far because I got to make my way back out and that's going to be the tricky thing uh, now if it's see I kind of want to heal him because I think at level 8 he probably could take a level 9 Moffle which is going to be very helpful to him uh, I don't know if they get any extra experience points by um Let's try the poisonous bees. Um, any extra experience points by doing the doing killing it, it themselves, but like using one core mod to defeat the other one. We could always test that out here in a little bit, but it's something like that is really hard to test out because there's so many varying factors in you know the core mods you get. Um, the levels that they are, even any special abilities or anything like that. Okay, we just ran back and got healed and stepped right into the cave and bam, another uh, uh, 
random encounter. Let's see what he is. Let's see what Frova could do. We're gonna try Hypno Rave. Uh, let's see if that works. Hopefully, ow, stop. Wow, that was a major hit. And I am really worried. I'm gonna have to switch out. I don't think, yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. Um, he's a level, I could try my Swarmy and see if I could level him up a little bit, but wow, that was a, a nasty hit against my um, Prava there. He woke up. Well, that was not very helpful, uh, but let's see. These guys are tough. Let's see if we can poison him and then move on. I kind of want to get these oh, lightning strike. Please don't kill him. Please don't stop. stop, stop, stop. Oh. Let's switch out. See, you've got to be so careful about Cormon that are higher level than what uh, your car Cormon are I really not advised to try to fight a Cormon uh, that is um, a higher level than you are uh, even my hypno wave that first lightning strike was so damaging uh, I had to switch him out so he's now but Buzzlet got hurt yay from his poison so he helped out a little bit um, I don't know if I'm gonna get shocked here. Let's see, Buzzlet. Yeah. Oh, okay, sweet. We were able to use it. Unfortunately, that was such a hard a fight. Well, oh, okay. Fava's level nine now, which is awesome. What about Swarmy? I want Swarmy to evolve. I guess I could. Uh, I still have two other ones. Uh, if I'm not careful i'm gonna end up getting myself in a lot of trouble uh and that's something i don't want to do switch out the or my buzzy and hopefully we can be able to knock this guy out without too much difficulty i can't remember what is effective against lightning that was kind of hurtful um those are the other than, ew, stop it. Um, that didn't seem to be very helpful. The poison SB is a poison attack. These two other ones are like regular or normal attacks. They still do quite a bit of damage as you can see though. Uh, definitely is very useful. Okay, I think we're gonna go ahead and head back. We're gonna be I'm, I'm in a position that I'm really happy with my squad and I don't want to lose it. And maybe we jumped dead a little too early with those two uh, Cormon here, Swarmy and Frova. Uh, but I did not want to switch. I wanted to summary. Um, what is he? He is an ice type, but I wanted to see. See, he still needs 195 until the next level. Oh, I could do this too. Uh, I forgot I could do that. Oh, okay. Swarmy's really close to the next level, uh, which is good, but he's still got a lot of fights to get through uh, to be able to make him uh, fully healed and be able to be really competitive against these um, anything that is equal on uh, a uh, level. You definitely don't want to fight Cormon that are stronger than your Cormon. Um, it's going to take me a while probably to level these guys up. Uh, we probably won't show it all on camera though. I would like to make progression at least a little bit in every video. Even if I don't get very far, I would like to get something. And I don't feel we're getting very far in here just because of the... Um, the low level of my two um Cormon. I really think they rearranged this somehow. Or remade in one of the updates to the demo, I feel that they have um uh redesigned the cave issue. Now uh, nine to a seven, 
very good possibility we should be able to do this i lo lo unfortunately he woke up critical hit now that's not good we're gonna go ahead and use our drain again it's just like the uh slither pin it's just going to slow the uh fighting down a little bit so that um it's gonna make it really hard for him to beat me maybe not extremely hard because i'm not healing a lot back um shoot i'm afraid that he's gonna hit me with something here and it's gonna be devastating let's try one more time well i got to go before him there which is helpful um cute pose let's go ahead and push it then and that's going to allow him to get um his last little bit of health on there and then he's going to be able to get all of that uh experience there so sweet that was very nice 85 experience points that's that's very helpful being able to fight there so level seven there gave me 85 experience um there's a trainer i really don't want to fight that trainer right now i'm afraid of the trainers okay uh level seven armado uh yeah we could try um he's a normal type um i'm a little worried that i don't have enough skill points to do this but we'll see that was that was nice that's going to heal me up a lot five points six points sweet so armado woke up he'll be able to use the scratch now take off six points of damage okay well we're even i started out with the same amount so this is going to make it so that um we're going to be pretty close to where we were by the end of it but we're going to be out of skill points and he's going to get another 80 some points of experience here which is going to be really good 103 there we go we're two we're two of our guys are so close to a ah see you get to a point you take one step and you're in trouble uh, um let's see what the moffat has what level is he he's a level 10 i've got to switch out um let's go into electricity it's not fire i think i'm gonna switch out to mino because he's a level higher but i believe that sand are is strong against fire types i'm not 100 percent sure about that but i figured i would go with my stronger guy um and i appeared to be wrong uh so that's fine that okay that was very effective i kind of want to glance over here to the right a little bit and then we're going to run back to the beginning um that should allow my frova to le level up to 10 awesome sweet so let's switch him out with swarmy uh so that swarmy can now be my uh beginning guy it's gonna be a little bit of work here but i think that we could do it let's see what's okay just a dead end um i am not... what do we got here i'm so afraid to see what he has yeah i think we're gonna go and get healed i think that'd be a better much better way to do it we could also if we wanted to use a stinky spray so that uh we get to the harder um stinky spray repels cormon equal to the level equal or lower to the level of your first cormon so if i put out stinky spray level nine and lower would be um repelled um and which is not really what i want uh but that a lot if you put your big guy there uh then it makes it a little bit easier because you can go through and get right to the um trainer and you don't have to fight as much it's a little bit better so uh, i think we're gonna go ahead and end the episode there uh we peeked a little bit into the cave uh we've got a couple levels up which is great 
Uh, we just got to uh, try to... I think what we'll do in the next episode is try a... Swarmy is so close. Let's see how many stinky sprays we have really quickly. Um, I think it's under... I have three of them. So it really could use them a little bit. And very it would be very helpful to get me to the trainers. So I think we're going to try out stinky spray in the next episode. And see where we get. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.